Huh? Can a spaceship grow bigger like that? Can a spaceship grow bigger huh? like that? Whoa. Huh? Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You could, you could see it's uh, it's shimmering in a... It looks yeah, like look a alive, like it's alive. Where where was this? Salida, Colorado, 1995. Okay, okay. Tim Edwards shot it. Okay, so I have another question about this stuff. The 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 another issue with videos like this, mm -hmm. and especially when they're in Colorado, Nevada, some of these places are the testing grounds for for advanced research projects. DARPA, right? Is that what it's called? Uh, Skunk Works, like all of these all of these people that have said, and this could go either way. This, this this could be a project of the U.S. military, correct? A any of these can. The disc could be any of them could be U.S. military projects, correct? Is that is that a possibility? Not at this point. Why do you say that? Because the highest level government officials said that we simply don't have that technology. We don't have the ability to fly without wings. We don't have the ability to fly without conventional S propulsion. S yeah, you have objects that can hover. They can accelerate from a standstill to out of sight, right angle turns. We don't have it, and they say we don't have it today. So I, so I like that, and I'm yeah. on that side. Yeah. And all of the people that have said this stuff isn't real since the 1960s, they said this isn't real. There's no ship that can uh, detract radar. That just can't happen. Then all of a sudden the SR-71 came out. Where did that technology come from? Absorbed radar, didn't emit any kind of radar det detection, right? They said there's no way a, sh a uh, airplane could lift flat off flat off the ground like that. Then the Harrier jet came out and it lifted straight off of aircraft carriers without any kind of runway whatsoever. So uh, on your side and the side I, I agree with on this, it seems like this tech is coming from somewhere. Like, where is the tech coming from that we keep putting into our... But the conventional uh, compul propulsion from the Harrier jet is just jet engines. That Correct. And the, and the SR-71 can't stop. It has wings. It can't, like, hover. And it makes noise, and it makes a lot of noise. And these things violate every known principle... Uh, that that we have. I mean, they don't make a sonic boom. How do you how do you travel but, supersonic speeds and not make a sonic boom? The, the only other anti point yeah. on that one is, and I'm saying I don't know where these things are from. I, I really don't. And I think that anyone that says they do is is, is, is not telling the truth. Right. No, I really. The, don't. the only other anti on that point is, as you know very well, we are generally thirty to fifty years behind on military tech, especially here yeah. in America. So like, we didn't find out about the SR seventy one until. I don't know what, like the 90s or something like that, and it was operating over Vietnam. So, like, whatever we do have, DARPA has right now, Skunk Works is now defunct, I think, but whatever we have from an advanced research standpoint could be 50 years ahead of what we know. Yeah.